Friday morning, everyone. Well, I have a lot to talk about today. I have an hour before I have to be to work, so, or I have to leave to go to work. So hopefully I will get this all done. I probably won't get this done. You'll probably be seeing this tonight, but I wanted to sit down and just have a really long chat here. So this is the story. This is the tea today, ready? So the tea today is that if you watch, if you are on Facebook with me, you've seen that I was going to be doing a video today. And my video is going to be on a food that I've been eating. And I kind of like was researching and seeing exactly what benefits it was to me to eat that. So I'm going to go over that. I'm going to go over, I changed my plan. So I'm going to go over that too. And um, I just want to kind of hit on everything today just because I feel like I'm not moving quickly enough for me. Um, I have a lot of weight to lose and it should be coming off faster than what it is. So, and I have not been completely, you know, faithful to doing it. I have not been, I'm committed, but I've not been, I keep eating that sugar. Yesterday, I have to report, was the first day that I had absolutely no added, like candies, ice creams, any snacky chocolate, nothing like that. I had a headache at the end of the day. I'm going to let you all know that I had a headache and I know it was from the lack of sugar. So hopefully today I can keep strong and keep that willpower going so I don't have that sugar. But what I would like to also address too, um, I'm just going to kind of give you what I'm going to talk about and then I'll go talk about it. So anyway, so I want to talk about that. I want to talk about um, what I'm doing as far as my plan goes, right? So the first thing I would like to talk about is the health benefits of foods that we eat you know i've done that a couple of times like so but like i've been eating avocado toast lately for the last three mornings right so with the avocado toast i kind of was like you know i want to see what kind of benefit i'm getting what my body is gaining from me eating that right so i am definitely 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 um really excited about the benefit that this gives. So with my avocado toast, I have a piece of whole wheat bread. That alone is better than white, I guess. People are, there's a discrimination going back and forth on, yes, white's better, no, the wheat's better, no, a whole grain is better, no. So, you know, everyone has got their own opinion on that, I guess. And uh, I don't really know what the benefits of that, I did not check that out. But however, on that toast, I do put avocado and I do put arugula and uh, an egg and a tomato. So the arugula, I use about a cup of arugula because I like crunch it all up and spread it all over. And arugula is, um, if you don't know what arugula is, it is a lettuce, it is a leafy lettuce and it is, basically it's kind of like a it's got like a peppery taste um so what i found out is it's kind of all in the same as like cabbage and cauliflower and on that line is what i've read and this is all ai stuff that i am getting off of google so if anybody wants to like you know reconfirm what i'm saying or he wants to go into even further than what i'm saying but i took my glasses off and i can't because i can't read my notes <laughs> Um, so anyway, the arugula is also known as a superfood. So it contains no cholesterol. It is low in fat. Um, it's rich in antioxidants. It has um, folate, which is good for childbirth, for those of you out there who are still um, in that age group. It has a vitamin C, so it's a natural antioxidant um, that boosts your immune, your immune system. It has vitamin K, which promotes 
bone health and calcium absorption muscle and blood clotting so vitamin k i did not realize does as much as what it does for us so basically vitamin k is also heart healthy um it has calcium and it says a cup of arugula contains 160 milligrams of calcium and it says that an average adult needs at least 1000 milligrams of calcium a day um, it has vitamin A, which also supports the immune system. Um, it helps your body. Um, so basically the vitamin A is also good for your eyes, right? So it's also helping with good eye health. And as an optician, this is the Vision Health Screening Month. So this is something that they're taking and we're like, acknowledging at my job, Vision Health Month. So healthy eyes are what we all want, right? Um, vitamins also, it maintains vitamin B complex. Now vitamin B complex says it promotes weight loss. It gives you energy. It promotes the production of red blood cells. Um, and it's also good for your skin and your hair. So I might have to start giving a little more vitamin B. And then it also has zinc, which improves the function of blood vessels and increases your blood flow. I didn't know zinc did that either. So um, an overall general, so basically what they're saying is this has, it also helps with inflammation. It's weight, it helps with the weight loss. It's heart healthy, helps with your digest system your eye health, your skin health, it's cholesterol free, and it also helps with osteoporosis. That's a word at my age I have to start thinking about and I really have to be due diligent with making sure I am getting calcium and I am getting vitamin K and I am getting all those things that I need because you know our bodies are changing. Now, the, that's just the arugula. That is just the arugula leaf, that's it. Then you have your avocado that I put on top. Anywhere from a fourth of an avocado to a half of an avocado is what I've, well, today I used a half, yesterday I used a fourth. So um, with that, I'm getting vitamin C, E, K, and B6. So I got vitamin B complex with my zinc and now I'm getting vitamin B6 with my avocado. So I am getting a lot of that B that I said I wanted to do more of because that again is helping with my skin and my hair and my nails and it's helping with my weight loss, digestive, um, energy, vitamin B gives you, vitamin B12 gives you a lot of energy. So it also in the avocado has riboflavin, niacin, magnesium, and potassium. Um, it also contains beta carotene, omega-3, um, and it is super high in fiber, and it is a healthy fat. So with that, the healthy fat alone is something that I kind of would love to keep going in my body. Um, also an avocado, just so you know, it says it has absolutely no cholesterol and it is rich in antioxidants also. So there is so much benefit to just eating avocado toast in the morning, right? Who knew? Not this girl. So that is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite foods to eat is avocado toast. I absolutely love it. I could eat that every single day, but I'm not going to eat it every single day because I'm going to rotate that also with oatmeal um, so that I can also get that extra cleansing out my, <laughs> my, um, Arteries, my everything, you know, oatmeal is also super high in fiber. So those are going to be my two breakfast goes to for a while that I definitely want to keep around and keep in my diet. So again, I hope that everybody was 
If you didn't know it, yay, if you did know it, thanks for continuing to watch. <laughs> so, um, also I would really like to talk about, you know, I went off of Weight Watchers because I said I wasn't gonna be paying the $23 a month anymore. And I went to the calorie counter. Calorie counting was good because I got to eat more of the things that, you know, I like. I could just count the calories, do whatever. But for some reason, I'm just not getting the commitment from myself that I had with Weight Watchers, right? So I went back on, Weight Watchers was offering um, nine, $10 a month for the rest of the year. So I went on and I signed back up with Weight Watchers. I start that today, today I'm starting that. So I just wanted to let everybody know um, that I'm changing out. And um, let's see, because you know, that scale keeps doing this with the calorie counting. I go down, I go up, I go down, I go up, I go down, I go up. When I was doing Weight Watchers, I was on a study this way. So I'm gonna find out and kinda I'm very curious to know, and I am gonna be logging everything that I do um, with Weight Watchers. Also the app that I had, it was very difficult to take and make, you know how you can make like a recipe with Weight Watchers to get your points? Well, it was very hard to take and put a recipe in to be able to get my um, actual value of calories, what that actual thing that I was eating, you know, like if I made a lasagna or if I made spaghetti or if I made um, my Southwest mix, I couldn't really get the full calorie count on that. So I was having difficulties with that. So I'm going to go back to something that I'm comfortable with. I still paid for the calorie counting. So I might go ahead and try to do both. But my days are super busy, so I have a hard time with that. It's raining today. I have been doing my walks every single day. Um, but this morning, I'm not going to because it's pouring down rain. So um, I will have to figure something else out to get some steps in today. Or tonight, hopefully when I come home, I can go ahead and do it because I'm off the weekend. Whoop, whoop, today is TGIF for me, actually. So happy TGIF to all of you also. Now let's get back to the Weight Watchers. Weight Watchers, I am super comfortable with, I guess because I've been doing it for so long. And you know, I did Weight Watchers back in the day when they had the little cards and you like had to pull them up and like lined up and it like gave you the value of your food. So I've been with Weight Watchers off and on for so long, right? So I am definitely going to stick with this for the next six months, something like that. We'll see what happens, we'll see. Hopefully by that six months, I'm down at least 50 pounds. Um. So I just wanted to get on and talk about that. And I'm doing the online right now. So um, there's, I never go on and I never use the whole Weight Watchers app. Like, you know, there's support, there's people with their stories, there's this, there's that. So, and I can go on and do that also with myself. So I am going to do that. I am definitely going to try to um, be more involved in that app. So again, I just have to keep everything up here going because the more I think about it, the more I do, and I have to keep the exercise going. So I'm wanting to keep adding something else, adding something else, adding something else. So walking is my first. The second thing is um, I've been trying to do leg lifts at nighttime. Um, so I am definitely trying to promote my muscle, right? I have a hair, I'm so sorry, it's like right in my eye. Um, I am definitely trying to promote getting a muscle so I can keep that muscle mass. Again, I'm going to be 56 years old. The muscle mass kind of starts deteriorating on its own. So I want to make sure that I'm trying to maintain that the best that I possibly can. So everyone, I hope you have a fantastic Friday. 
I look forward to sharing all of my success and failures with you. Um, if you are new to my channel, please like. The more likes that I can get, the more that YouTube acknowledges me and it kind of promotes my channel. So if you're watching, please just go up and hit a like for me. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, please share. So everyone have a great, great day and I will talk to you tomorrow or Sunday. Just depends. We'll see what my remake looks like. I will take a before and I will take an after of when we're done. So it's not going to be like the Taj Mahal, but it'll definitely be different than what it is right now. All right. God bless everybody. Talk to you soon. Mwah. Bye.